Now back guys to folk wrestling to another Monday Night Raw review. I have been tasked with making this Raw review 20 minutes and I've had some tasks before in my life guys but I think that may, may be the hardest one but we're going to kick off the show with how I watched the show. I don't know what the order was on the actual show but I'm just going to go with the order that I watched it in. So I watched the, the first segment we had basically just a recap of uh, Brock Lesnar and Lashley. They're set for collision with consequences at the Royal Rumble. I mean, I'm looking forward to this match. It's a shame we couldn't get Brock on it this week in some form of uh, capacity, but we didn't. And uh, we just got this hype promo. It was all right, but what happened? Like, even back in the day, they used to make good fucking promos. Like, I mean, like, and that's what gets me. It's like, with Brock against Lashley, like it's still it's two, it's two stars. Why can't there be a good promo? Like you know, like a like a, like a, a minute like a ninety second promo before their match. It's fuck good, good music and you know, hard hitting fucking stuff. But instead, it's it's not really that good, to be honest. Uh, next up though, Maurice comes out, basically says that her husband Miz made this match for her permission. She wants, um, for it not to happen. Out come Beth Phoenix and Edge, and like I I hate the fact that like Edge, is being like. Out of the four that's in this feud, he's being, he's like the one being utilised the most, like not the least, and it's fucking Edge, like, in terms of like stars that you have left, he's fucking, he's like one of the last few guys, but yet here, it seems like the focus seems to be a lot more on Beth Phoenix and Maurice, but Beth Phoenix says that she's gonna, um, What's her finisher called? Glamazon? It's no, that's, that's her nickname. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. The Glamour Bomb. Anyway, she's going to do that to Maurice through the ring. Uh, wouldn't we all want to do that? But, um, she gets into the ring. The Miz jumps the barricade. The Miz starts battering Edge. Beth Phoenix kind of distracted by this. Maurice then whips out her purse. Cracks her in the back of the melon with said purse. Turns out inside the purse is a brick. So obviously it's a wee bit hurting more than normal. Uh, the Miz then promises Maurice a birthday extravaganza backstage as they leave the arena and uh, aye, then they kiss and I'm just, yeah, you're like, damn, um, aye. But uh, yep, next up we have another Alexa Bliss segment that nobody gives a fuck about. This is just pish. It's the exact same as last week. The guy says, oh, we've less breakable things in the office this week. Who gives a rat's fucking ass, mate? This is going nowhere, right? Like, like, what is this? It's it's just pish, two weeks ish. Her sitting there doing a Harley Quinn, right? Alexa Bliss is hot, right? But let's just let's just call a spade a spade. This is fucking garbage, right? Get it off my TV. I couldn't give a rat's ass. This this <coughs> this stuff <laughs> stopped being no bad around like fucking this time last year, and we're still doing it. Albeit we haven't really seen her since SummerSlam, but it's still pish. You know what I mean? And just get it off my TV screen, to be perfectly honest. Next up, though, we have Bobby Lashley versus Seth frickin' Rollins. Um, not the worst match you'll see on Raw. Um, he does a big, massive belly-to-belly -belly off the, the top rope, which I thought was a pretty cool manoeuvre. It reminded me of like a Kurt Angle special. Out come the Hurt Business. Lashley manages to get the upper hand. Rollins is kind of in disbelief that he managed to beat up two jobbers. Don't really know why he's in disbelief about that, but he is. Um, but as Rollins is... Fucking, he's, he's completely stern at all this action in front of him. Uh, out come the Usos for SmackDown. Of course, on SmackDown, they couldn't, the, the, uh, the assault, the ambush didn't work on Rollins. But guess what, guys? It worked here. Double super kick, deed. Seth Rollins hits the mat. Pretty, it was an alright segment, a bit action packed. A wee bit, every, I mean, I'm not going to say it reminded me of the attitude there, but the fact there was like, it was kind of like chaos and like there was interferences. It did, to a degree, but you know what? It was nowhere near the attitude there. Bye. Pretty decent enough match slash segment. Next up, though, we have the Street Profits and Ray and Dominic Mysterio taking on uh, Cruz as, as fucking commander, Sigler and Rude. Get this off my telly, guys. It's a four on I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same match we saw last week, right? And if it's not, it's just, a, it's just like a wee tweak in it because I'm pretty sure the Street Profits teamed up with Ray and Dominic, you know? Again, I mean, the faces win. Do, do, who cares? And then after the match, like, Ray and Dominic, like, throw the Street Profits over the top rope. Because, hey, it's Royal Rumble season, and we can't build the fucking match, so we'll just throw people over the top rope. I mean, look at 2002. Guess who's back? I mean, Triple H comes out. 
I officially enter the Royal Rumble. I mean, Butch's fucking big show and the balls on SmackDown. Fucking pedigree. Then we get that stuff on Raw. We've got him and, Tri we've got him and Austin fucking brawling. Oh my god, it's The Undertaker. Undertaker comes out, steel chair to the back of fucking Triple H. Austin stunner on Triple H. Triple H is laid out. Taker, American badass, climbs his way in the ring. Fucking steel chair to the Cooper and Austin. Who's going to WrestleMania? You know what I mean? But what do we get now? Fucking... 65 year old Rey Mysterio throwing his son over the top rope. And what, what am I supposed to do about this? You know what I mean? Like, Dominic was more over when he was like five and a fucking hanging above the the ring in a fucking custody match. And that just sums up how shite he is. And that's the bottom line. Um, talking about absolute dog shit, we've almost taken on Reggie. Out comes Dana Brooke during this match, goes through the legs of Reggie. Thought Reggie was going to destroy her in one different way. Um, but he didn't. Out comes Tasawa, R Truth, and Tamina. He throws uh, Tasawa over the top rope. Oh, another rumble jibe. Do, 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 do. He kind of just shoulder barges R Truth. And then he bottles ta attacking Tamina. But this is how it's like so stupid. It's like this they're, like they're building this guy to be a monster. Why would he give a fuck about Tamina? Like, let's be real, right? I I I'd rather fight fucking Reggie in a in a fight in real life, because I, I mean who couldn't kick his ballots and then fight Tamina? I mean Tamina's tough, she's fucking Jimmy Snooker's uh, daughter, you know? But oh, we gotta push equality, but oh god damn god be God forbid the man attacks the woman in a fake fucking TV show, brother. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ, like, fuck me. Get a bit of heat on the guy. But no, the guy's extinguished. Fucking Baltic pish. Next up, though, we have Rhea Ripley and Nikki Ash in the ring. Out come Queen Selena and Carmella. And you just look. Look at the two in the ring, right? Two ugly freak show bastards. And you look at the two on the, the ramp. Two hotties, like... I didn't know Selena Vega was like, she sounds proper British. I thought she was from New York, you know? Because that whole 9 11 thing they, they were supposed to do with her, but they didn't. Unless she was, unless her dad was British and she ended up, but Selena Vega, I mean, that's not very British. But then again, are they trying to play up that she's British? No, really, guys, but this is awful. I mean, it wasn't as bad as last week because Rhea Ripley and Nikki Ash weren't talking, it was the other two, and the other two can actually talk to a, a, a decent fucking level. But yeah, we have that. Next up though, we have Finn Balor versus Austin Fury. Austin Fury beats Finn Balor clean. And I'm fucking shocked about this. We had McMahon before this backstage telling Austin Fury that if he didn't win, McMahon was going to batter him. And he'd just have broken bones and there'd be blood and there'd be snot everywhere. I'm like, fucking hell, McMahon. We're bringing the attitude era back here. Austin Fury beats him clean. We move on. Next up though, we have uh, Alpha Academy's graduation ceremony. I mean, this was... Alright, I mean, it was a bit unique. Uh, fucking Riddle comes out. Thingy says to him, uh, I bet you don't know the definition of a rematch. Uh, and then and then Riddle goes, It's when you try and light something twice. Also, you're referring to a joint. Haha, <laughs> weed humor. And then fucking, uh, and then he's like, But, but no, I didn't mean it like that, guys. Then they basically batter. The, 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 uh, the arcade bro are battered them and they, they accept this battle of the minds thing would have to go through a bunch of games. I mean, at least it's unique. At least it's just not a generic match at the Rumble. Fuck knows where it's going next, guys. So. Next up, though, the best segment ever! Fear Mahan is biding his time. Oh, because I'm ready to go, go, go. Party, yaddy, 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 oh, oh. Oh, anyway, though, Kevin Owens, he plans to enter the 30-man Royal Rumble, says the Seth Rollins is the, <laughs> the best ever, basically. Rollins says he's going to bring the Universal title to Raw, make it red, and Brock or Lashley can fuck off to SmackDown. Out comes Damien Priest, says to Kevin Owens that their match is right now. Kevin Owens defeats Priest, fakes an injury, stunner, good night. He also did a swan Tom bomb during the match. He's like, do any of these pricks have anything fucking original? You know what I mean? The answer is no. Next up, though, we have Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan declare themselves for the 30 Women Royal Rumble. We've got Dude dropping Becky Lynch in the ring. How oh, about Ref? Get bigger Ref in this ring, eh? Fucking Dude drop, man. Fat bastard. He's like, I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to beat the fuck out of these two, man. Look at me, I'm Dude drop. I'm a big, fat, sweaty, obese, ugly, disgusting. Despicable fat fucking fat bitch. That's what she fucking is. Actually, fucking look at ah disgusting fat fuck. Boom. Fog wrestling probably took off the monetization, but you know what? Fuck her, man. She beats Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan. Oh, but I need to beat Becky Lynch. Liv, 
Live. What's that? What's that? What's that I'm hearing? What's that I'm hearing? You're pish. Bank of Bel Air, boring bastard. Becky Lynch, the best out of these four, but you know what? You know what? What's that, Stevie? You're still pish. This Monday Night Raw review, minus 27. Oh, I'm not going to get it minus. Fuck it, I'll get it. I'll get it, zero, man. Fuck it, it was fucking awful. It was pish.